Yo, what's going on guys in today's video i'm going to be going over geocode or geocoding api which is a google maps api which uh converts uh an address into lat and long coordinates um and it can also convert lat and long coordinates to an address which um so basically this api is really useful because it provides an array of elements uh address elements for example postal code the zip code of the location <clears throat> uh the street address the uh the state the city and the country and whatnot so so for the purpose of this video i'm gonna be uh converting an address uh into latin long coordinates which i'll and which i'll be using for my map uh to put, plug in some markers so before we start um make sure that you have a package.json file for um for uh your project right here right here i have my client side repository and make sure that you have these dependencies you can just do npm install axios i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it and make sure that you have geocoder as well installed um so what you want to do is you want to enable the geocoder api um on your gcp account and enable billing for it and um, right here, uh, I, I'm using this file called modals.js in which I'll be uh, basically um, calling the API and sending it the address to get the uh, longitude and latitude, latitude coordinates in which I'll be sending to MongoDB. So right here, you just want to import Axios, uh, just to import Axios from uh, exclamation, uh, I think that is asterisk Axios. And then down here is where I have the function. So right here is just a form, which input which takes in uh, data like the location name, and uh, the location description and whatnot. So the location name is what we what we will be taking as the address, sending it to Geocode uh, API and getting lat and long coordinates in, re in return. So let's go ahead down to our function Geocode right here. So all you want to do is call um, geocode before the function, obviously, and you want to have um, your uh, your address, or in other words, your location name that you want to input into geocode. So for my form, I'm getting my lock name, which is in other words, uh, location name. Uh, so I just had to call this function raw form data dot location name to convert it into a string. So we got Axios. So you want to make sure you write this right here. Axios dot get, um, and you basically just uh, put in this link right here, and then inside of the parameters, you want to have your address, which is your location name, and you want to put your API key right here. So yeah, uh, for the purpose of this video, this a I'm gonna be you know displaying this API key. However, I will be changing it so none of you can use it. I guess. And uh, yeah, and make me lose thousands of dollars. But yeah, I'm gonna change this API key anyway. So yeah, and yeah, and then after that, you want to do have a dot then function. And over here, you want to I, I basically just console dot logged um, the lat and long coordinates. So let me show this to you guys so you understand how this actually works. Um, so yeah, no, and I also assigned, uh, I declared, declared lat geo and uh, variables lat geo and long geo, and then I just assigned it to to um, the lat and long coordinates. So let me just uh, run, run the front end so you guys can see how exactly geocode works. So right here we have the website, and then we basically just go over here. So let's say if I enter the location name, um, let's say if I enter, uh, hmm, what should I enter? Oh, let's, let's just enter uh, New Zealand, I guess. Pretty sure that's how you just spell that. And then you just click submit. Right, wait, before we do that, let's inspect, go to console. Okay, so let's submit. So right here, we submitted it and as you can see, we got our console.log, and uh, so when you submit uh, uh, the form, we have location name equal, equaling New Zealand, and then right here, 
we have um, the geocode API working. So if I go into, into data, results, zero, and then geometry, I get all of these options right here. I got the lat and long coordinates from geocode API. Uh, I can all I can also get some address components like the formatted address New Zealand. So if I put a specific address, it will give me um, a better formatted uh, address. Over here, I got some bounds. Uh, not really sure what that does. And um, we got a short name NZ, which is a short form of New Zealand. So right here, we got the coordinates in which uh, in, uh, to basically take in or to assign a variable uh, to basically assign a variable uh, to these coordinates, all you have to do is um, let's go back to the code. Do response dot data dot result, which is an array. You put zero dot geometry dot location dot lat. Um, so make sure that you have this dot location because I didn't put that in the beginning, and it's it's a new update with uh, the new ge geocode. I think it was in twenty nineteen. I'm not really sure. So yeah, if you if you're looking at some previous tutorials on Geocode API before 2019, you're probably probably gonna get some errors uh, with that tutorial on getting your lat and long coordinates. So just make sure that it looks exactly what I put it right here. And yeah, I basically outputted the the coordinates I got. Let's do another example. So let's go ahead and enter Princeton, New Jersey. Okay, so let's submit that. And right here we got the Latin long coordinates. And just to prove to you guys that this works, let me just enter the. Uh, let me just search for Prince the Prince. Princeton, New Jersey coordinate, coordinates. So right here we have the coordinates. So west basically means it's an, a negative value. So it's gonna be. Uh, forty point three, five seven three. Okay, that works and negative 74.6672 there we go so that um pretty much works and i can basically just go over here and um go into data results and yeah right here we got the formatted address uh and which is really useful for people who are you know into csv files and trying to format their data the user inputs so for user inputs like some data that you, uh, is not really formatted in the way that you would like it to be, you can always just take the formatted address uh, through this array by just doing, uh, I think, response.data.result, uh, I think zero, uh, and then address components and the formatted address. And if you want to get the lat, you just do response.data.result, zero, uh, geometry, location and then if you want to get the latin long corners you can do so and yeah i think that's gonna wrap it up for this video on how to input on an address and get lat latitude and longitude coordinates and uh yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh if you would like to subscribe to my channel you, you can uh i basically post a bunch of tutorials uh, i'm gonna make a tutorial on how to format csv files using pandas and um, CSV uh, using Python. Uh, it's gonna come up soon. I'm gonna probably post some more videos on machine learning. And, um, probably some Kaggle competitions. I haven't really done one in a long time, so it's probably gonna come later on. But yeah, do, just like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, just put it in the comments. I'll try to answer it in less than a day, if not maybe two or three days. And yeah, uh, thank you, and uh, please, yeah, I'm just gonna dip now.